Hey, what's up everybody? Ted here, TNT Strength and Conditioning. It's January 2017. We are starting off the month and the year strong with an awesome strength and conditioning workout. If you're an athlete or you seek to get stronger, faster, more agile, more mobile, and as my boy Zach says, more hostile, then a workout like this is gonna get you results. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be more than happy to run through everything with you on an individual basis. I would suggest pausing the video and writing down the workout and putting it to work for yourself. It's an awesome workout. You could probably do most of this at a commercial gym if you're not in a private facility like this. And if you are in your garage or basement, guaranteed this stuff is awesome. All right, I'm gonna run through it real quick with everybody. So three days for the week. We got day one, day two, day three. We start off with some box jumps, six sets of three, squat jumps, six sets of three. We couple those together. So three box jumps, three squat jumps, six sets. Then goblet squats all by himself. Now, if you don't want to do a goblet squat, we're doing the goblet squats just to kind of mix it up because we were doing a lot of heavy uh, regular barbell squats. So we got a goblet squat prog uh, progression, one set of 10, one set of eight, three working sets of six. So use the 10 and the eight to build you up to the sets of six. Now that can be, one weight for all three sets or progress up to a top set of six. Do it how you see fit. I uh, individualize that based on the way the athletes are moving and their current strength and skill level. All right, moving on. After you hit that, don't couple it with anything. You're gonna go dumbbell lunges in place, three sets, six each leg. So hold them down at your side or you can hold them up here in like a rack position or kettlebells in a rack position. Finish the leg for six, switch legs for the other set of six. Three sets. Then you go kettlebell swings, coupled with band good mornings. If you don't want to do a band good morning where you wrap the band around and stand in it, you want to go a little heavier, feel free to throw a uh, barbell on your back. It's all good. Mix it up. Uh, then we got sled drags, 100 foot. We're going forward and backwards. Three sets, 100 foot, and then any extra credit. So whatever you feel you need to work on. It could be your abs, it could be your guns, whatever you want. You want to do some extra push-ups, I let my crew kind of pick that. Let them kind of take lead and uh, you know think for themselves. They don't always need me like telling them what to do. It's good to be able to like you know think forwardly. Moving on, next day. This is like an upper body workout. We're going bounding jumps. So jump, jump, jump. Plyometric push-ups, clapping, hip, chest slap, behind the back, whatever your skill level allows. If you can't do a plyometric push-up where you clap, then just Push up fast, hands leave the ground. Just little catches, little catches. That's how you build up to it. And then eventually you clap, chest slap, hips, all good. Great stuff. Six sets of three, couple together. So jump, 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 drop, push-ups. All right, moving on. We're gonna couple these two workouts together. This is gonna be an alternating dumbbell press. Set of eight, two sets of six, two sets of four. So that's one, one, two, two. You get the picture all the way through those sets. Couple that with either a recline row, two sets sub max, one set max, or rope climbs, three sets maximum, all right? So if you notice here, you have one set, two, three, four, five sets. So the first uh, two sets are kind of warm ups, and then you're kind of getting into the heavier stuff, all right? And then you're gonna, so pretty much every other, you're gonna be mixing in that uh, recline row or the rope climb. Moving on, couple together, kettlebell push press, hold the bell of the kettlebell. Don't hold the handle, hold the, hold the bell end, push press, head through the weight, quarter squat, head through the weight. Use the leg drive to build speed through the upper body to accelerate, to lock out. Make sure you lock each one out. Mix that with a one arm row, kettlebell, I have written, you can go dumbbell or kettlebell, all good. Now we have three exercises here, a hands elevated push up, sub maximum reps, Band pull-aparts, three sets of eight, and then band shoulder rotation. What I do for the band shoulder rotation is I hold a very light band. Usually it's a micro band. I hold the micro band in my right hand, stand on it with my left foot, and the rotation mo motion, if you could see me in the camera, is you out in front, rotate to the side. So palm facing down, thumb up. Find your angle. It's not a straight overhead. It's not straight to the side. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's going to really hit that. Uh, whole complex area in there, not heavy. That is five repetitions, but they're not grinder reps. That's really just shoulder prehab, okay? Moving on to the last thing, uh, last workout, you're gonna go lunge jumps and battle ropes. If you don't have battle ropes, do burpees. Lunge jump, six sets, three each leg. Battle ropes, three sets, 25 seconds. Couple those together for an awesome workout. Get your heart rate up, get you moving fast, get you ready to be explosive. 
Now we're going trap bar deadlift, four sets of five. My crew has been crushing a lot of regular deadlifts, conventional and sumo. So we move on to trap bar, mix in a little bit of variety. All right, then we got a heavy carry medley, two sets, 50 foot each. We're going sandbag, dumbbell, keg. Go heavy, bring each object down. You bring it down for 50 foot, set it down, run back, grab the next one. Boom, set it down, run back, grab the next one, set it down, full sprint back. Two rounds like that, it is awesome. I mean, who whoever thought like heavy weights could uh, build the cardio, but believe me, it makes the lungs and the legs and everything else burn. Super powerful, it's like a bit of a strongman uh, training medley. It's really awesome. And then we got a push-up walkout. You go down, do a push-up, walk your hands to your toes, walk your hands back out, push-up, Three sets, sub max, mixed with any leg raise. Dip bar leg raise, holding ropes into a leg raise, holding pull up bar into a leg raise, chin up style leg raise. You can do leg raises on a bench, you can do them lying where you're putting your toes to the ground. You can have fun with it, all right? You got a whole month to do this workout. So, what you would do is, you know, pick one for week one, pick another one for week two, or mix three different exercises, a different one each set. All right, if you're here with me, I'll tell you what to do. If you don't know how, if you're not out here with me, drop a comment, like I said, and I can give you advice or ideas, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Do some leg raises. All right, gun show, bicep, tricep, any bicep, any tricep, three sets, 12 repetitions each to finish the day with a nice little pump in the arm. It feels pretty good to have that. Now, if you can see this in the camera, this is my uh, motivation I give everybody for the week. I, I didn't make this quote, this isn't my quote, I read it somewhere, but I believe it, it's super powerful, and already it's, uh, what, the January 9th, I believe, so we're nine days in, had a bunch of workouts already, and people have saw that quote, and it really settled in with them, they, they, it resonates with everybody, and it's, when you feel like quitting, think about why you started, because believe me, this stuff isn't easy, it gets really hard when you're pushing your body, pushing your mind, to the extremes, and everybody, myself included, the owner of the gym, the coach who's the motivator for everybody, sometimes I just feel like quitting, and I don't mean quitting being a coach, but I mean in the workout, I feel like, oh, I don't need to do that set, I start to almost talk myself out of doing like that last set or those last couple reps, but then, like it says, when I feel like quitting, remember why I started. I started this, I started this workout, you start your workouts for self-improvement to get better. Some of you have an end goal to be better at a sport, some of you have an end goal to be stronger at a certain exercise, and some of you just wanna feel good, look good, be healthy, have a positive attitude. Well, guess what? That's why you started, don't quit. Push to the limits, all right? January is a big month for us at TNT. I got some power lifters doing a power lifting meet. Five of them to be exact. I'll be coaching them January 22nd up in North Jersey, Somerset, New Jersey at the Garden State Winter War USA Powerlifting. And the day before that in New York, we have a strongman competition, novice uh, strongman. That's actually a female. She'll be doing her very first strongman, strong woman, strong person competition. It's a strongman event. It's sanctioned. Her first sanctioned event. I'm super excited for that. I'm going to go up there, help her crush it next day, help my powerlifters crush their stuff. We're all crushing it January. If you need a workout to crush in January, boom, there it is. It's right there. I got a million more workouts I could share with you. Let me know what you want to hear. Let me know if you want to see some more workouts. I will share the content you need. I'm not charging people for this program. People like to sell their programs. Well, guess what? I'm going to hook you up with them. Just let me know if you want them, and they're yours. Till next time, peace.